Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. Today we're gonna be playing Viking Birdsman because I kinda am sick of this meta but not to be too standard. You always know me. I always try to sneak some twists to my decks and this time our twist will be the third hand on my third card on my hands. So basically we're gonna be playing a completely normal Viking Birdsman but we won't be playing a big spell because in my opinion, big spells are overrated, they usually are only to deal the damage to the tower, which we don't need with a bridge spam since you have these all precious troops. And what better way to get more troops than to just play a mirror. So yeah, we're gonna be playing Viking Bridge Spam, which contains many broken cards, and we're gonna be playing just more of them. Uh, for additional half mana, so he's gonna be actually trying to defend with Psycho, and it was a very successful attempt out of him. I would actually say uh, that I kind of overextended here, but uh, we're playing against Machine Gun, and obviously Machine Gun is already kind of lost if they lose the tower, and they did. So we're in a very good spot nonetheless. I'm gonna play fifth here. This these twins will absolutely get the job done. I think the Steel Hammer is. No, okay, it's not taken care of, but it's very close, so I'm gonna just place Ghost on this, and the card should be defended pretty well. So, some tips against Machine Gun, uh, best tip is just stack a big pushes, like, that's pretty much only way you break through, because Machine Gun is very good as an archetype at defending some uh, small pressures, so don't count that uh, your opponent will just mess up his defense by like uh, playing fifth here and there uh, you gotta just stack these pushes and this dude actually went for the variation with mana collector so it may be uh, it may give you an easier time because after all mana collector kind of gives your opponent mana back but only if he holds so if he doesn't hold and shows the weakness during having a mana pump on the board that's probably your best shot to take them down and I didn't even need that uh, in the first place in this matchup because my opponent gladly gave me the uh, tower after the first play and right now we're gonna be claiming our 3 star so yeah that, that was the first game let's hop to the game number 2 and right now we're gonna face a Rob Misko who is 600 metal player who I Weirdly enough, never played before, so we're gonna see what he's uh, playing with. He looks like gonna be starting with a Font King, very reasonable card. I wouldn't say it's like a meta card or something, but definitely still viable. I wouldn't say that you cannot use it under any circumstances. I would even kinda encourage you to use it because it's very fun card to play. I gonna play fifth here and ghost i would love to play ghost instantly but it wasn't possible my opponent though will be playing some kind of bait because he's playing just uh fun king some uh yeah he's playing fun king yeah he's playing mortar bait and this mortar bait will be with a fun king and not with diggers so that's gonna be the structure of the deck pretty interesting to see we're gonna be playing devils in the back baiting his bomb girl very good to see that coming. Okay, he's gonna actually go in, which is which is a good move since I don't have like the best response against Funkek. If I were to have a flying bomb, I probably would have played that uh, here, but we don't have a flying bomb. We have a card that is a tricky one and will allow us probably to win this game because Steelbait usually deals very well against Bridge Spam and that's why we're gonna have to rely kinda on tricks to win, except uh, my opponent just messes up his defense, he probably didn't have right cards to defend this ghost, so he let it be, and uh, the same goes for a fifth, which uh, wasn't like, uh, which wasn't accounted correctly, because I still got a kill on his, um, on his bomb girl, so he should have held at least one card to protect her because, well, if I have Thief in rotation, it should be addressed one way or another. Right now he's gonna go in with a Bomb Girl at the bridge. I don't like this move because I had the Ghost in hand and I'm pretty sure he knew that, so that was just a waste, especially that he added Fawn Horde. 
Now I'm gonna just go in and I think the mortar has been played incorrectly so the twins will go for the tower. Even magic archer, I mean piercing archer gets a lineup so that was a very slick move. And right now we're gonna just pretty much claim the victory. I'm gonna blitz this phone king so that it doesn't charge on my tower so that viking has a time to go in. Very rare case where you uh, use a blitz against phone king against bait but here you go. And that's gonna be the game number two very nicely wrapped up. He even sends a GG as a uh, sign of manner. Very cool to see. Let's hop to the game number three. And right now we're gonna be up against 10 medal Yazef. I, I, I don't know, I cannot still read uh, the nicknames, especially if I only see them for the first time. And <laughs> definitely I've never played this dude in my life, so may take some time to process what was he meaning behind his epic name. But for now, let's focus on gameplay and notice that he's playing some uh, basic defensive cards and a cemetery so he's gonna be playing a cemetery that's absolutely uh, nice uh, archetype to be played with i've recently uh, recorded a video about the cheesier way of playing cemetery it looks like my opponent will be going for a more solid approach uh, my guess is playing a uh, gunner instead of the usual bomber or archers because it looks like we're gonna be facing the classic splemetry so i'm gonna just cycle a ghost in the back piercing archer for the t-rex he's gonna play a gunner once again which is a very principled approach i don't think there's any problem with that i'm gonna just play a fifth on that take one hit no biggie i'm gonna right now play devils on the skeletons so they don't get too much value and I'm still very concerned that he's not pre-playing anything on my skeletons because he definitely sh I mean on my devils because he definitely should uh, if he doesn't pretty much he wastes uh, five mana for three and he still has to deal with devils so definitely not the brightest traits for him I think he threw a banter cyclone so I'm gonna just play viking and close the game I don't think he plans on staying so yeah let's let's just take the three star and hop to the next game of the video and next opponent of mine will have big balls i mean he will be named named big balls one two three and he starts with mega uh, dark knight so yeah certainly the big balls he has two big black balls Please de don't demonetize me. I mean, I, I don't even make money from YouTube for now, so I pretty much can uh, do not care. I'm gonna counter everything with Piercing Archer. That's gonna be a very nicely played. I don't think I needed to protect it, but obviously I could. He plays Cannon for my fifth, so it's nice time to just skill check him. Play some Twins on the opposite side. Get the connection done, very cool to see. And right now we're gonna just be chilling because I don't know the rest of his deck and he probably knows the rest of my deck, except like the mirror part. And actually, for a matter of fact, we didn't use the mirror too much because we didn't uh, have too many instances where the games were closed, so I didn't have like the luxury of show you guys how to actually mirror like annoying troops to get the maximum value but we'll get there when we get there and so far we're just going through this man we're gonna play a blitz on skeleton horde <coughs> play some fifth behind the viking get the connection to the tower very cool to see Viking, I don't think it's gonna connect to the tower, but it's still force out a super devil, so that's gonna be a very cool situation for us. And right now we're gonna just wait. Very basic stuff, I think I'm gonna just play twins here. Play it a little bit in the back, so they can charge up and they won't engage uh, enemy troops uh, too early. Like they won't be uh, like predicted or something. 
very basic stuff. Right now we're gonna play Piercing Archer against a T-Rex. Very, very basic as well. Right now I think he kinda overcommitted with these bullets, so I'm gonna try to uh, punish him for that mistake by pretty much going all in. I'd love this Super Devil to get killed, and there we go. Fifth will also connect to the tower. We're gonna take this tower down. I don't think I can prevent this machine gun from locking onto my tower, but it looks like my ghost was just on time, which is very cool to see. He throws some rolling steel. I assume it was to give up. I still didn't have any good opportunity to showcase how strong the mirror can be in this matchup, but trust me, sometimes when your opponent uh, has run out of responses, mirror can be very clutch in certain situations. So yeah, let, let's jump to the game number 5 and wrap this video up. And we are heading into the 5th game of the match, I mean 5th game of the video and right now we are gonna be facing against a gunner, I don't, I really don't want to pronounce this guy's name, don't even bother, some, some names aren't just censored, I don't know why but like, we kinda have a free speech and that's pr how people probably should pay for it, I don't know man. I'm, I should play a Viking on this a Super A, but instead I've played Devils. It's not that bad because right now I'll be having a faster counter push. I'll be playing Twins and he absolutely spells it out. So I think that's the good opportunity to say that your opponent kinda wasted all the spells and all the buildings he had. So uh, because of that, you can just go all in on the opposite side, use this mirror finally put it in a good use and I think because of we because of we had a mirror we kinda could have taken this tower down not quite because it has like 1 HP 592 to be exact but we are basically there as a Viking Bridgestone usually don't have a good matchup against Super Ape Psycho because that's what this deck looks like except it has Bone Blasters but either way we are already looking hot and I think it's just a matter of time till we take this game home. So <clears throat> I'm gonna play late Viking to still address this super ape. Two hits will land, but also he will have to spend so much mana on defense. I'm gonna just pressure with fifth, so uh, he will have to be more careful about his defenses. Very cool to see. Fifth will connect onto the tower. That's also very cool to see, I'm gonna play another thief. Fortunately it will connect to the tower, it will not backtrack to any of these and I think that's gonna be a 3 star very early on, so yeah. That's gonna be pretty much it uh, from me. The whole cheese of this deck pretty much uh, uh, is based on deception that your uh, opponent thinks like you're playing the normal Viking Bridge spam, but then you slap for instance like second ghost or second vi no, second Viking only in double mana, but second ghost, second twins or second thief. And if he doesn't expect that, like doesn't have uh, good cards to counter that, you probably can uh, take a very good edge in the uh, single mana and uh, just to follow it up to win the game. So obviously you have to be careful not to allow your opponent to stack uh, too big of a pushes because you don't have the safety net of a big spell. But I usually don't have a problem with that. So, uh, and I think uh, with a burst from you generally don't want to use spells on defense, rather on offense. But if you have more offense, it kind of balances out. I've tried this deck and it scores surprisingly well. So. Obviously, you are guys free to check it out for yourself. And that's gonna be it from me for today's video. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you really enjoyed this Boom Arena content. I'm posting it daily. So if you tune in for YouTube, you will probably see new uh, video of mine. So yeah, please check it up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you enjoy my content. And yeah, that's gonna be it from me. Thanks for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next episode. Abu Marina.